Hi, and welcome to Color Checker. Color Checker is a tool that allows you to verify the printed colors of your output device and check if they are accurate within a standard. So, to use this tool, you will need Color Checker from the App Store, obviously, and you need to have a device to measure colors with, being the i1 Pro, the gray older model, or this one, the i1 Pro 2. Um, now, to show you what happens, we'll share the screen. And um, if we downloaded the app and then start it, the screen we got would look like this. Let me put it to the center here. So it starts off seeing, uh, saying not calibrated. And before we can do any measurement, we need to calibrate it. And calibration is always done on the white reference tile within your i1 holder. So put it on there and just hit the calibrate button on screen. And it says calibrating, it takes a few seconds and now it's ready to scan the strip. Now the strip we'll be measuring is coming from this printout. Now this strip is embedded into the reference file that you see here and PDQ, our print app for large format printing. But you can also use the strip separately. And for that purpose, we are able to export the strip itself from Color Checker. So if we go to the menu of Color Checker and go to File, we have a Save Strip. And it gives us a file requester where we want to put the file. We'll put it on our desktop. And if I double click that, you will see this is the Color Checker file. So it has 24 patches, um, known colors in sRGB. So you can use it in any color space you want, as long as you do the conversion correctly. But all the colors are within sRGB color space anyway, so there's not really a reason to go beyond sRGB. Okay, um, that's the strip. We've printed it, in this case on this paper. And what we do is we put the paper on the measuring table that comes with the i1 Pro. And then we take the i1 Pro itself and bring it up to the first patch. Hit the button on the side and move it over the entire range. And as you can see, when it was finished measuring, it gave me it gives me the 24 um, values in lab that are measured from these patches and the reference color. So you can see the variation, the delta E, uh, for each of those patches. And because the average is 2.96 and the maximum deviation is 6, it gives me a pass. So this printout is within standards. It would be good enough to be a proof. Not actually a proof, because proofing is something that's usually done um, in CMYK and Pentone colors for printing purposes. But if you have a workflow that's photography and you have a printer, which is more likely if you are a photographer to have an RGB workflow, then it would, would make sense to have something to check the uh, accuracy of your color printout. Now, obviously, you can debate about your color printout until you're blue in the face, but it doesn't mean it's, it's accurate. The only way you know it's accurate is if you verify the profile that was made for your printout by using a tool like Color Checker. That's not visual, so it's not a subjective, but it's an objective measuring device that does the measuring. And we can do that on any media. So this is the same strip, but then print it on a flimsy plain paper. You use an OK printer, but um, not great paper. And now if you view these two side by side, get it out, you can see that the colors uh, well, it's hard to see on the video maybe, but um, the color range on the photo paper I have here is much better. And this one passed. So let's try to pick on the plain paper one. Put that one on our lip measuring table. Like that. And we will simply do the measurement again. So we start here move it over 
and this gives me a delta E average of 7.45 and a maximum of 13 and therefore a fail because the limits we set internally are 5 for delta E um, that's for one particular color on average uh, and a maximum deviation of 13 so if anything goes over that and here values go over uh, 7.45 and 13.08 it gives me a fail so this one obviously failed and I would either have to use better paper um, probably need better paper to get it to pass on a plain paper would be very hard but uh, you have now a way to verify that your printouts are accurate in colors like they do in expensive proofing systems now all proofing systems that I know that have this capability of measuring a control strip um, usually cost hmm, somewhere between uh, 1500 and $3,000 or euros um, so this is a very affordable way to know that your colors are accurate it doesn't mean they're perfect you could still be off because only with an average delta E of less than 1 and a maximum delta E of less than 3 your print is pretty much perfect and that's very hard to obtain but if you know that you get a pass in this app then you know your printout is going to be good enough for 99 percent of your customers so nobody will be complaining that the colors are off and to use the color checker um, colors like you have on the color checker passport or uh, proofing uh, samples that you can buy from Xprite it makes sense because then you have something throughout your workflow that's consistent from your photo from your calibration um, of your camera um, up to your print and if you use the same reference file for that you know that the file you, you know, the colors you photographed and printed are identical and that's what you want so that's the um, tool we have available on the App Store as of today it's called Color Checker and it of course works in combination with PDQ to drive any of your large format printer and that can also make ICC profiles quite easily so check out that app if you like too Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy it.